have been taken away as well. It's not so shabby with the Fiora. But the Zeri pick off by EDG. Very early on, looks like they're willing to adjust for mid lane since Yu is just uh, incredible with vast champion pool. Mm -hmm. That's what we expected. The Jax is going to be hovered here by EDG. Zeri's a little bit more of an expectations because traditionally from what we have seen in the past, that is always that mirror role lock-ins. But this time around, there is a lock-in of support for the side of JDG and the jungle for the side of EDG. Now, that leaves the Vladimir open for JDG to pick up. When it comes to the banning phase, JDG could now target the supports. You can ban away the orn, remove it away from Langry. What will be the counters left here for Edward Gaming? This is going to be a little bit complica complicated on their side since... Well, Edward Gaming, they have tried out the Orianna as a response to this Vladimir during their match against FPX, but it didn't turn out pretty. They got obliterated in that game, and the Vladimir even of Sky landed an MVP just because of his impact. And now with the Zoe and the Kali removed, possibly a Cassidy can be picked up here, but that's too much late game on EDG if ever. Aatrox could still be removed by EDG. That could still be the option for them. Even Yone could be removed. Now, it depends on where these twos will be the favorability coming for the side of JDG, but they're going to leave the jungle roll open for them and instead ban away another ADC. And JDG oh, going for the Jason instead for that early game possibility. Aggression once again, name the game for the side of JD Gaming. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, the Jays has been very, very successful so far here for JDG, and they picked it up so many times already in the in their games and has secured quite a lot with this kind of a uh, jungler champion and right now it's going to be fully utilized here in this game to add in a little bit of poke and burst as well possibly some control in the early game too since edward gaming has picked up quite squishy champions to be honest yeah jax is a little bit more on the tanky side but the rest is just easily obliterated by a single combination of jdg yeah, they could still go for Orin for the side of EDG. They still need a support. Alistair could also definitely work out to have that peel for the Illusion and Zeri. Now for the side of JDG, what they're lacking is the bottom lane. And Ash, if they go for their utility support, we've expected this before. The Ash lock in, huge reliance onto the mid lane for the side of JDG and even the jungle for, for one. Interesting approval rating as well. This is similar to the match of Weibo Gaming and Woohoo Gaming. We saw more approval ratings towards Weibo Gaming and they won. Maybe this is an inkling that Edward Gaming does have something in mind to turn the tides around and be the one to secure this sick, this this victory in a series against JDG. I love the composition, especially the Alistar pick up here by Langley because back in Season 1, he was notorious for this pick. Edward Gaming was unstoppable and was on a win streak ever since he was actually the support and it took such a long time before the other teams found a weakness on his Alistar oh, one of the ways just to ban it out and force him on a different champion but this time as he gets access towards it it can pave a way for Edward Gaming to win against JDG in this game number one but let's see how JDG responds we'll see it's now game number one of this series that we have for the very last one for today and coming into the early game, there is an expectation that JDG will be a little bit more aggressive when it comes to level 1 to level 3 into their jungle role, considering that they have picked up the Jace. Now EDG could answer back or could focus mainly on farming until level 5. Lemon getting caught out early, but is still going to be able to, to be safe. Just uh, some information has planted a word in the topside river, just in case 0711 opts to invade. But also, it's just information here for JDG that this is going to be a blue side start here for 0711. We do see a blue side start as well for ones, and we'll be passing towards top side possibly to help out Lemon in securing at least a great lead uh, on the lane dominance. It will take some time before the Jax actually takes over and might not be needed by Lemon for any gank. Yeah, it's, it's just basically like uh, a very time reliant composition for EDG. Right, um, especially coming into that level five for the likes of Kazix, and also the scaling possibility that an Azeri has. Now, this early game, when it comes to looking for ganks, looking for plays, it's always going to be the reliance onto the Lucian. Now, for the side of JDG, 
they're going to play it a bit more early, have that pressure from the jungle roll, as mm -hmm. we have mentioned a while ago from the Jace. Especially coming into the bottom lane. I think that will be one of the targets there for JDG's side, especially considering you have the Zerion the Alistar. And then... Vladimir just has to play it safe up against Lucian. We talked about the importance of crowd control as well, uh, especially in the last se last series. And right now, it mm -hmm. is very important as well here, especially for Edward Gaming, since most of their yeah. champions are quite squishy. Later on, Faber is going to be having such a great time uh, engaging with his Vladimir. And there's nobody that can actually stop him, especially if Langui doesn't have the headbutt pulverize anymore. And that can be an opportunity for JDG to just win team fights. And at EDG, they need to find ways to bully out mid lane. Maybe cripple him down, slow out the pacing of Feibai, prevent the scaling at least for a little while so that 0711 can at least get objectives first. Yeah, there we go. Level 5 already has been set for both junglers. There's no engage thus far for these roles. A little bit unexpected for the side of JDG, but considering the fact that Vladimir is really a, a, a scaling champion, not as much strength in the early game and you have the Lucian as a very mobile champion into the mid lane no visits coming in no ganks coming through and even the bottom lane you still have the Alistar to think about but at this point in time we're just waiting for first objective I think that will be the breaking point and that will be the catalyst for both mm -hmm. these teams to be able to engage normally actually we do see both of these teams actually wanting to just engage early on mm -hmm. before even objectives spawn up we see uh, yeah. Quite a bit of flashy plays before three minutes, but this time it's a different approach by Edward Gaming and JDG. They really are respecting each other and focusing on the scaling, focusing on getting the CS done before the objections does spawn up. Maybe through the arrow, Ooh. The flash there by Langley just for a respect. But it's also level five, so that's uh, a weird move, I would say. Yeah, Summoner spell burned under the turret as well to use up the flash. That was really unfortunate for the side of Langui. But alone, maybe coming in. Since they have no vision on the Jace, but this time alone is just chipping down their HP. But since this is just early game, Zeddy doesn't really deal any damage as yet. Yeah. But the thing is, when it comes to that trade, I think it was JEG who had a better end. Because they burned the Summoner spell of flash from Langui. But before then, 2v2. And Langui just uh, continuously applying pressure here onto JDG, especially for Max. Uh, the only problem is the Zeri doesn't have any damage as yet. Might need 0711 to help out here at once. Visiting top side will not land the Shock Blast. Just uh, will be clearing out this way before the objectives spawn up. The force out a recall here, force out jam, or get a couple of plates. No, it's yeah. a plain visit. Yeah, but the thing about the, the visit coming from Jace there on top side is to be able to allow Lemon some breathing room and to be able to go in for the B side. Considering we're already 4 minutes and 30 seconds into the matchup of game number 1, objectives are coming out at 30 seconds after, so they need that clear wave immediately for the wave to be able to reset. That gives the wave for the swap as well. We see Feibai going towards the top side, Jace going mid lane, you are going bot lane as the preparation goes for the objectives but i kind of have to hand it over towards jdg they have this setup like just like this forcing out these uh unbreakable will from langui still is taking so much damage and alone can actually do anything just yet because it doesn't do any damage just yet but the exhausted as well so it continues on the poke at least chipping down the hp here of jdg yeah, it was really unfortunate that jdg prioritized onto langui as an initial target Good thing is, that is an Alistar that we're talking about, right? And it's just not gonna be melted out easily. Bye bye. We'll be casting out the ult. Does have the Sanguine Pool to be safe at least after the counter strike has been casted out. But Edward Gaming, they will secure this RH. Uncharacteristic of JDG, they didn't turn, they didn't commit, they didn't trade at all. Yeah. It was uncharacteristic, as you mentioned. It was a little bit new that JDG did that. Because traditionally, they always go in, they always go aggressive. And I, I feel like it's just a matter of the thing is that they lost a lot of ultimates already. Dragon. Only gonna be used. The steal will not be possible this time around for Edward Game with commit onto the Jace. It will be taken out as well. Lemon gonna be in trouble. 0711 has the ice cream. He was able to flash away. Attaches in right back towards Mac and has full trust that Blank is gonna be able to protect him. 
Very unable to land the arrows here onto you. Now with Shelly, will be able to take this tower down in the mid lane. A massive gold lead now for Edward Gaming. Yeah, Edward Gaming getting two charges of Shelly. Yeah, 1.7k gold lead as well. That's massive for the side of Edward Gaming. Now looking back, it was still JDG who got the, the dragon, got the smite because of the CCs coming through from the Gragas because of the body stamp, but regardless, it is JDG as well who lost a lot of members. They lost their very own jungler. Lemon was being chased out on top side, and they just had the worst time uh, compared to EDG because because of their mid lane losing a couple of turrets, losing a lot of HP. I mean, if you want to win against JDG, you really have to take control of this early game, and, it, and EDG. So far, they are doing it. Getting a little bit of gold lead against them as they start to inject a couple of them towards you. Inject it towards alone as well. Later on, this is going to be very problematic for EDG, especially with the Fiora, especially with the Vladimir. And the isolation with Max on this Gragas. They need to set the tempo up. At least 5,000 is required here for EDG. Yeah, definitely is. Now you have the rotations coming for EDG side, hovering towards more on the top side of the map. So if ever a, a fight breaks loose, they could support you into the top lane. I think that's really important because at this point, it is you who is the huge reliance that you want to give a lot of golds on. Not only can it be attempted to be traded out here by JDG as well. This language in the vicinity is going to be a lot more difficult. Now JDG sends out more. As the arrow available there as well, but very but got caught here by 0711. Had to flash away. Isolation passive Oof. from Kazakh because it's just too much for Barry to handle, and he is forced to retreat. Yeah. Ignite all the use there by Fei Bai. Uh, and Xiao Zhang is just gonna be safe. He'll be cancelled on the recall though by Max just committing and walking straight into the tower. You're just gonna be here, flash in by everyone to just commit on taking down Max. Cast not gonna do anything there to save his life. And Edward Gaming caught them red handed. Yeah, it was almost too close. Like a body Sam goes in and hopes for the disengage, but there's two other members that came through. And it was just the number games that EDG has won up against JDG in the bottom lane fight. It was 2v4 at the very least. And they can't do nothing. You, 0711, alone, leading the gold chart right now for EDG. Definitely is a big source of motivation right now for Edward Gaming to continue on their assault to JDG. Next dragon gonna be spawning up in the next few minutes. But again, this gold lead is starting to balloon on EDG side, going over the 3,000 right now. Yeah, Kreeks has indeed, Lagui. Lagui pool has been used. We'll deny the gank there from Langui, but alone is in the vicinity. Maybe they do want to turn once again. Let's get spotted out after using the shock right there. Langui positioning once again. Good body. Denies engaged there by Langui, but at least they do get a tower, and that's the primary goal. But Lemon gets a trade back. It's a one for one. And at this point. X Jag will be able to get information. JDG is on to their objective. 10 minutes though. Ocean Drake is coming out soon, and I think that will be the piv pivotal moment here. Everyone has to play it a little bit more safe coming in before the Ocean Drake, and everyone will play towards that specific objective as well. Yeah, JDG really needs to step up this time around. That's been a you know a comfortable early game here for Edward Gaming. And they are just continuously looking for picks. Max might actually be in trouble, but this is a tanky Gragas. He's gonna be able to sustain himself and be durable. And now the dragon's gonna be the primary target here for JDG. Edward Gaming needs to deny soul point here from JDG. They need to shove the wave first in the mid lane, bot lane as well. That's their key, but now he actually engages. Max might actually be in trouble. Langley popping out the unbreakable will. It's gonna be a lot more durable, but now they turn onto the dragon. Will force JDG co to commit. Lemon gonna be caught out as well. Counter Strike gonna be used. Not able to get the parry done. It will be flashing away to at least buy some time for the rest of JDG to cover it out. Great shot flash though. Thanks, Jung. Get to the back. Not get caught just yet. Reset comes through. 
Edward Gaming, they want to commit onto this dragon. JDG wants to get this great knockoff once again here, but doesn't have the unbreakable will to sustain himself this time around. Langley getting obliterated. Xiao Jiang onto the back line is being kited here by JDG. But alone actually having great access here. The dragon's gonna get taken here by JDG. They're happy with that. And they will be able to escape unscathed. Yeah, there's just no more objectives left for them to take. There's no more value getting away into overstaying into the Dragon's Pit. So good call coming from JDG. Get the Ocean Drake retreat right after. That one as well gonna be taken down here in the, into the mid lane. JDG just recovered the 2,700 gold deficit that they've experienced against Edward Gaming. And they also get two Dragon Stacks. Man, it's now starting to be a nightmare for EDG. It definitely is. So far, it's an even level playing field, but the thing is, JDG already got two dragons in their favor. If this keeps up, they are one dragon away to get that soul. There's Ocean Soul as well, so a lot more sustainability for the likes of Barry, for the likes of Jays coming into the late game stages, if ever it comes down into them securing the third dragon. Oof. This is tough for Edward Gaming. Langley has been really trying hard to engage to set up here for the team. It's not, I don't think it's the correct time just yet, especially since they haven't reached the 5,000 mark. They don't have enough lead to actually take um, a great advantage here against JDG to force them out, to push them back. Mm -hmm. And JDG, after resisting for 12 minutes, is starting to... to get reap off the fruits of their labor at the, this point the thing is the big problem with edg sign up is they only have alistair to go in for the engage the follow-up will only come through with Jax's availability but remember it is always fiora who's going in for the split push and Jax has to follow through Oof. one ult one arrow already forcing language ult and that's gonna be well established here for this big objective the baron started now yeah, and that is what we're saying, right? There's no possibility for those team fights for the side of EDG. They need Langui and Jax. He will commit. Gets denied a little bit here by Max. Cass is going to be used as well. I see some of the members here of Edward Gaming. 0711 is in the vicinity. Is trying to cast them on a flap. But it's also low in HP and they lost the Alistar already. Now JDG is grouping up. Xiao Jiang going in with Counter Strike but not gets anyone with the stun. 0711 goes in with a slow. There's the Zappas. That's gonna be the turnaround now by Edward Gaming, but still has lost so many members with the person of JDG. Now the damage up alone starting to be felt here by JDG, but Barry is still going forward. Will regret it against jumped on by Xiao Jan. Lemon gonna be here as well, unable to get the kill onto alone, and Xiao Jan gets a triple. Lemon at least will or should get a trade here. Alone, jumping away. A 4 for 4, but that is big for Edward Gaming because they denied the Baron. Yeah, they denied the Baron. The thing is, it is Zeri who consistently gets a lot of these kills. And that's really, really good. The JDG. The, the always the thing that they have to look at is Langui. If Langui is gone and Axion is unavailable into these team fights, they will definitely win because they don't have any CCs into their composition. That is what they're lacking when it comes to these team fights. And there's just huge alliance with Axion to set up the play along with Langui as a follow up. And also it was a big deal that Payby got taken out there after engaging to you. He didn't, he wasn't able to get the burst done and when he flashed away, the range was there for the damage. Also the, the, uh, the, uh, the zap right there from alone actually caught him and you was able to get the kill. And now the gold is still even. It all boils down to how JDG or if they are actually going to be able to get this soul for themselves. EDG will attempt to stop them for sure, and the Jax is starting to be a big problem as well. Yeah, you had the Divine Sunder already, you had the Rift Maker built onto the Jax. So yeah, uh, I think overall, JDG always just has to look at where is Langley, because that will be the eyes on the prize for the side of JDG. That will not always be the target by JD Gaming, but that is pretty much the one of the winning conditions for EDG onto those team fights. Arrow gonna come through alone! Fortunately, he does have the QSS. If he doesn't, that would have been it for the soul. Max taking too much damage though. Doesn't have the cash anymore. Langley as well will be dashing away. Please to buy some time, go on a reset. And go with the War Mugs reset on the HP as well. But JDG is not gonna give them any sort of room. We are betting the dragon already. Pulling it back towards them alone, trying to poke them as well. Just waiting. 
And at this point, EDG is just waiting for their dragon oh. to be brought down a little bit. But a reset's going to happen here. JDG is really unfortunate. But that is what EDG wants. Oh! Okay. That is Zangri that soaked in the crowd control. Head but pulverized. Sao Chang as well gonna be following up. Counter Strike gonna get. Oh! oh! He's gonna be big here. Doesn't get the damage done onto Alone as well. And now it's gonna be time here for Edward Game to maybe go, go in. The favor landing the damage. Great body time as well coming in from Max. But the drag is still gonna get taken here by JDG. 0 7 11. Now needs to run away. But actually, JDG needs to run away because Alone is landing the damage. Starting to get. The damage done onto JDG, but still the big prize is the dragon, the soul that JDG acquired. Yeah, it doesn't matter if JDG lost three of their members, only traded for two. The matter of the fact is they got the Drake, they got the soul, that is what they need. And the, uh, the Enchanted Crystal Arrow, it was really interesting that Langley flashed onto it, but maybe denies it out away from Alone and you for it not to connect. But x Jang was pretty much the MVP coming in from that specific team fight, the four man stun coming into that. Baron though, now being started by EDG. They want this, and it's gonna be uncontested for now. JDG might have found the soul, but the Baron is for EDG. Yeah, and I, I still think EDG has that big potential to utilizing the Baron Dash into their favor coming into those team fights after the fact of losing the possible of the soul for JDG. I think they really, really need this, especially coming into the Elder Drake. If they get the Elder Drake, they win the game. And they have the advantage, they have the buff up stats right now. JDG does have a swell, but this is still going to be a very risky take. Elder Dragon, the waves are even as well. A little bit of pushback in top lane here for JDG. Great poke coming in from Alone. He has to be consistent with the poke here against JDG. Yeah, and the thing is, Enchanted Crystal Arrow comes in. No ult. That's the response. Langu is patient. And Edge of Night denied from 0711 here. It's a bit of a play of Tiger. If JDG could still clear out the wave coming into the mid lane. This is really good coming from JDG because the thing is, EDG is on a timer. They have the burn buff. And as long as this is prolonged, EDG is on the losing end. Yeah, Edward Gaming realizes this as well. That's why they're starting the Elder Dragon right now. But JDG is doing a really good job stalling out as well. Lemon gonna be spotted out. Langi goes in. You trying to capitalize as well. Cutling gonna be used. They are coming onto the Elder Dragon. 0 7 never gets spotted out, but it's still able to jump away the cast. But actually been huge! And he got the kill already on one member of Edward Gaming. Jump there by Sal Chow. But it's follow up here by the Vladimir. And the low will just get the up. Absolutely deleted here in this fight. 0711 Langley gonna be running away, so at least buy some time to go on the reset. But the Elder Dragon is gonna be denied from Edward Gaming. JDG wants to end the game. Yeah, and the thing is, if Langley is not in those team fights, if Langley doesn't have any more knockoff, it's JDG's time to go in for the engage. That is always a key here for the side of EDG. They have the disadvantage when, a, when it comes to their competition. Now, JDG is looking to end. He will get the end here in this game. Langui getting caught by the arrow and it's gonna be game. JDG gets a big objective, gets the game as well. Yeah, the soul was just perfect for them. I think it was EDG who was a little bit greedy coming from a game number one. One thing that Elder Drake as well on top of the Baron Nasher. Yes, that was the winning conditions, but they could have utilized the Baron Nasher to be able to get more gold injection for their carries.